Well, right now, here in North America, is a mass regulatory change in the environment. FISMA, Food Safety Modernization Act, and as well the Safe Food for Canadians Act, is going to completely change how we manage food safety. And for especially small and medium-sized companies, that's going to mean a radical shift in food safety culture and food safety program management. And so it's really important that uh, companies stay ahead of the curve and start implementing strategies now and really build up a food safety culture and a food safety management strategy in advance of these radical changes. Well, one thing that I've really enjoyed about the event is that it is bringing in top leaders from across North America and actually from around the world. And as such, it's really inspiring to hear messages about how companies are implementing their food safety strategy and taking it across the value chain. Uh, some of the recurring themes that I thought were really interesting, the first one being accountability. So the importance of being accountable to uh, your, your or, or obtaining accountability from your suppliers, being accountable within your own organization, ensuring that your team members are all accountable, and then being accountable to your, and the end user of your, of your product, i.e. the consumer. Uh, the other thing that we've heard a lot about that I think is great is sort of fostering this um, notion of food safety culture within an organization and the importance of doing that. I think we heard from a lot of great people at this conference about how to foster a culture of food safety at different levels of organizations, different sizes, with different budgets and different constraints. We got some really sort of great real world experience um, from members of industry that I thought has been invaluable. I've, I've had a wonderful experience. I've learned so much from the other speakers and from, uh, from actually from sitting around the tables at lunch and at breaks and talking with people. I think that, that the, the benefit of coming together in these kind of summits and, uh, and sharing what each of us has learned and what the actual manufacturers are experiencing is extremely valuable for us to take back as providers to the food industry and also for them to take back so that we keep the information flow you know going back and forth so it's been it's been fabulous i've really enjoyed it uh, it became very clear that the small companies are still experiencing uh, cost problems cost issues as far as certification and that type of thing and i think somehow there needs to be some sort of program available that that helps them a little bit in terms of the cost. I, I would attend this event every year because the networking is so good. The, the networking that you get to do in here is just fabulous and the learning is very good because I've, I've said it before, in fact I said it once today, uh, you don't know what you don't know, <laughs> you know until you start hearing some of this stuff and I find every time I attend one of these events I walk away with, geez I didn't know that <laughs> and you learn something. I think that's great. That one of the tracks involved transportation and uh, it uh, did talk about uh, temperature issues, which is what we specialize in, and different solutions that are out there. And uh, with that, after the break, uh, some potential leads came up and tried to understand uh, what sort of what these issues are and what sort of uh, solutions we have, and what's the technology out there, and what are we doing with current customers, especially the large retailers, and what they're doing more and more regulations coming into effect from government as well as uh, you know the food industry itself um, just the cost involved the manpower involved um, you know and, and public awareness too you know there was some interesting case studies by big companies by small family-run companies which you know is, is exactly like what what I work for myself um, sanitation programs um, which you know is is the key thing for the backbone of food safety and um, the uh, you know there's everything is here um, I was I've been really pleasantly surprised by what I've learned here so you know it's been everything that is here has been of relevance to me and, and you know I've learned a lot more I think than I expected so uh, you know I'm really going to push to come back next year uh, I guess that we really need to work with our transport companies and make it clear to them that this is an important issue and they need to invest that time and that money to get up to speed with their HACCP, with their food safety programs, and I guess to make it more clear that industry as a whole is going to be doing this, and it's not going to be a, 
an option anymore. Um, I think it's that it's a really good opportunity to meet people who aren't necessarily in the same industries as I am because then they can offer a little bit more of an insight on something that I had no idea really was an issue for them and then look at it and say, hey, maybe that's something I should look at too. Like maybe we should be examining this as well because they've seen this happen to them. And As a speaker, this was a wonderful opportunity to network with my peers, but also to provide uh, future clients an opportunity to come and discuss with me educational opportunities for themselves personally, but also for their employees. Because there's people from the entire food safety industry here, uh, all the way from the attorneys to the promoters to the people in the factories and the quality assurance people and so you meet a large um, group of people from all kinds of backgrounds. You know it's good, I'm continuously, this is my third participation and I found it's a good platform to, to listen, to learn, to hear and to share the best practices uh, uh, on food safety and particularly uh, it's good to know some of the update about the legal changes that are uh, being implemented both in the US and Canada and it's, it's, it's really good platform to know the the update about the food safety a big big challenge for the the producer like us. Mm -hmm.